He's somewhere out there on the river. That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I think you're going. The lodge and river are closed today. If you don't take your big mitts off of me pronto, I'm gonna take liberties with my knee. Catch my drift. Well, I have to see some identification. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait a minute, who do you think you are? I don't have time for this, sorry. All right, wait. How could he get away? You can't explain that. Put me you big lummox! What's going on here? Sorry, Mr. Klemper, but then... Hello, Eric. Trisha Parker from Sports Time magazine. I called the other day to do your interview, remember? Yes, of course. Put her down. Hi. I'm here to do your story. On the how, the why, the wherefore of an ex-world champ. And I'd like to get started right away, if you don't mind. Sorry, I don't have the time now. Well, that's all right, Eric. See, what I'll do is pick up the real you in action as we go along today. I'll just tag along. Miss Parker, I don't have the time now. You guys follow me. Listen, I want McKay stopped this time. I don't want him to get past this point. Get out of my way so I can do my job. Oh, sure. Like in the past? I said, get out of my way. Please. Morgan. All right, Hagen, secure that line. Mary, grab me a bullhorn. Come on, give him a bullhorn! here? 
Don't you read the Chalupa Canyon Weekly? Oh, I can't say that I have. What is it, local rag? <laughs> well, it's local. Who's this Mike McKay character? This, uh, McKay character, as you call him, is the reason for all this. This is his third protest against the river permit system and the building of the dam itself. And according to McKay, and I quote, one of America's greatest river systems has been cut in half and McKay has sworn to keep protesting against the building of the dam by running the river illegally without a permit until this country wakes up and stops rampant commercialism or I'll drown on some river. Oh yeah, sounds like you read the paper. Read it? I wrote it. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Open mouth and cert foot. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, had, I had no idea. I Georgia had... Gubser, editor, reporter, printer. You name it, I've done it all. Mm -hmm. This rag <laughs> is all mine. Yeah? Water level. Two minute 20 coming in. All right, Mike, the show is over. Pull your boat into the shore. Pull it in. Maybe he didn't hear you, Sheriff. He heard me. You're making a big mistake, Mike. Pull it out of there. Listen to me, you pink-headed... Mike! Sometimes that boy is too damn smart for his own good. All right, we get him down river. Flying the ointment, Sheriff, but didn't you forget something? He knows them as well as I do by now. Why don't we just forget about it? You have the right to remain silent. 
Anything you say can be held against you in a court of law. If you wish to speak. If you wish to speak to an attorney, one will be got for you. All right. Come on, let's go. Hold it, right there, hold it, please. Everybody get back, I got a shot. What's this all about? Trisha Parker, Sports Time Magazine, the magazine that keeps you up to date on sportsmen, sports, and a lot of things. Sheriff, you're gonna look great. Making the arrest, if you get in a little closer there. Yeah, that's it, the law in action, okay. Sheriff, can the grin. Great, thank you all very okay, all right. much. One side, great. one side, make room, come on. There we go. Hey, hi. Are you McKay's attorney or something? Sometimes attorney, sometimes friend. Why don't you try and stop it? If I tried, I probably wouldn't be his attorney, and I definitely wouldn't be his friend. He knows what he's doing. Which is? Which is not necessarily any of your business. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to get a little background, find out who he is and what makes him tick. Now, you answer a question for me. Why am I answering questions for you? Because they just arrested the fellow I ought to be talking to, and you're the only one left. I suggest you talk to Mike. Say, could you, uh, before you go, could you give me a hand with my car? I, I think it's overheated. Water. I thought McKay was taken care of. So did I. <laughs> well, that's not good enough. We've got to find a way. Time is short. The pressure's beginning to build up. You heard about Kastner's body? With any luck, it could have taken weeks. If only he hadn't been callous, we would have been ahead of the game. What about the hearing? We can't afford to swallow another delay on the Simon Fork at King's Dam. We're going to be sitting ducks with neon lights. Well, all in all, it's been a pretty lousy day. We've got to find a way to keep a lid on this thing here. The situation is beginning to fester, and I don't need an irritant like McKay. Yes, sir. here to do an interview with Eric Clements. Do you have any salt? Clemper. What? Clemper, Eric Clemper. Right, whatever, anyhow. That's when I saw your little number on the bridge, which Mike, that was fantastic. I mean, you really showed some style. It was terrific. And I said to myself, Trish, you are here doing the interview on the wrong guy. This is where the story is. I mean, meaning you. So here I am, to the horse's mouth, so to speak. Mm. I've become an avid reader of you weekly. I suppose you've seen the front page. Mm-hmm. It isn't the Times, but a front page is a front page. And in my biz, that's business. 
I make my living, Mike, if you can, well, call it that, digging up weirdo oddball types. You know, the kind that sing Don Giovanni while skydiving nude, play par golf, blindfolded. So when I read that you were going to run the river until you got your way or drown, I knew a live one had been dropped right in my lap. The guy sounds like a nut. My very next question, are you? What do you think? Too soon to tell. But as long as we're on the subject of drowning, what would you say if I told you I found a dead body on the river today? Throwing back? I'm serious. They find bodies in the river all the time. There's nothing to get excited about. Probably just a drunk fisherman fell off a rock. In a three-piece suit? Well, maybe he's trying to fake out the fish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I got carried away. Here, right, there's a little bit left of this. No, forget oh. it. You probably saved my life. That's it. Time's up. Uh, when are you gonna get out of here? When can we talk? When I get out of here. Great. I'll see you then. Say, is there any word on that body? Nothing. Miss Parker has been asking a lot of questions. Yes, and when she brought up the body, I thought I should let you know. Did she know anything? I don't think so. I don't think so, but I think I should keep an eye on her anyway. Now, the last thing we need is her stirring up McKay again. I want you to follow her. Good. I'm not gonna pay you a thousand dollar fine. But you get it. And I'm sure not gonna stop running the river. Since when does anybody care about somebody running the river? And since when do they send out a whole police force to pick somebody up? Since Divine moved in here and started buying everything up, including the law. And don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, I don't know what you're doing here. You can't go to work. You'll kill your first customer. Give me the keys. I'll hold down the fort till you get back. Michael, you think my lawyer's fee is heavy? Wait until you see my salesman's commission. Remember me? The lady with the foot in her mouth. Yeah. Well, I bought your paper today. Am I forgiven? Well, buying is the next best thing to reading. What can I do for you? I was just wondering. I've got some film I'd like to develop. I'll but... make you a deal. You can use my dark room if I can use a couple of your shots. Great. Assuming they're better than mine. Where do I sign? What do you got? Plus X. I don't know if you know about this, but yesterday after the showdown on the bridge, I found a body on the river. Dan Kastner. What? Dan Kastner, that's your body. One thing you really get the hang of when you're working on a small town paper is death. Mm -hmm. I've got the coroner's report right here somewhere. Great, yeah. thank you. But don't go looking for something fishy and get your hopes up. I have the film. Sure. You're Mr. Kastner, drought. Just like a dozen others who come up here every year. Wasn't there anything weird? You that hungry? Well, it's not often you find a body, so when you do, you kind of want it to mean something. 
Well, there was something kind of funny. Uh, Jack, he's the, the coroner. He was kind of bugged that Mr. Kastner didn't die on the river. Apparently, he did it somewhere else. Somewhere else? Sight right along the arrow, breathing slowly, evenly, holding it when you're ready to shoot. Hey, Harry! Good hunting. <laughs> Where's Mike? He's not here. Is the son here? No, son. Father dead. Killed on the river ten years ago. Do we have to go through this again? No, no, no. I'm just looking for a mic. Last question? I promise. When he's upset, like now, he's usually somewhere on Baker Road. Take to everybody like that. Uh -huh, I'll bet. No, you were the luckier ones. <sighs> oh, oh, my foot. Oh, I think I broke it. Ow. I think you're going to have to drive. What? I think you'll have to drive. Pablo, get in the car. Anyway, I didn't think much about it, but I decided to follow it up because you never know what's going to sell in my business. I went to the newspaper office and I found out this Kastner guy didn't die on the river. He died someplace else. Now, how did you know that? Because he didn't have any silt in his lungs. No silt. Right, so where does one die around here without getting any silt? Oh, ah. Uh... The bathtub. The lake. The lake. Now, why didn't I think of that? Because you don't believe me. Now you're getting smart. I've done some thinking about your situation, and I've decided you're going about this all wrong. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You can yell and scream and jump up and down until your kayak turns blue, but it's not going to change the situation with the permits, the dam, or the fine. Look, Mike. You don't have to believe everything I say. Just hear me out, okay? Now, what you need is a little muscle. 
muscle, huh? Mm-hmm. You gonna hire a Dunn, or are you gonna beat him up yourself? I'm not talking about physical violence. Oh. I'm talking about the power of the big P. The big P? The press. Oh. You know, being written up in uh, the weirdo section of Sports Time magazine isn't exactly what I'd hoped for. Doctor's office. You better get that foot x-ray. Oh, Mike, maybe I should try and walk on it first, don't you think? Okay. okay let me just see if I can step on it. My goodness. I think it's all right after all. Uh-huh. Broken, huh? Killer, huh? Mm -hmm. Come on. It was only fair. You're right. Jocks. Trans Allied Engineering. Hi, is Mr. Kastner in? I'm sorry, Mr. Kastner's out of town on a job. Is there someone else I can talk to? Hold on, please. Mr. Swan, someone's calling about Mr. Kastner. Thank you. This is Gerald Swan. Hi, I'm calling for Mr. Dan Kastner. I talked to Dan this morning. He won't be back till Thursday. Uh, how can I help you? You talked to him this morning? Yes. Who is this? Uh, this is Mrs. Uh, Susan Donlevy from the Acme Collection Agency. Uh, he's behind on some payments, and don't you worry about it. I'll, uh, bye bye. Give me William Devine. I called the dead man's office today because I didn't know if they knew what had happened. Oh, did they? I didn't think so until this guy named Swan gets on the line, and he says that he just talked to Kastner today and that he wouldn't be back until Thursday. Well, it sounds like there's a fox in the old hen house to me. Georgia, do you think I'm on to something? Well, it's not often you run across someone who talks to the dead, not on the phone, anyway. <laughs> so she tells me I need press. And maybe eight people on Earth read that magazine of hers. Maybe she's right. Maybe. Well, let me tell you, she goes on about this body she found in the river. I think she hopes it's murder. Sometimes I don't know who I'm dealing with. Uh, uh, William Randolph Hearst or Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Notice something? What? There. Yeah, I've never seen the river this high. You know, they're, they're letting way too much water out of the dam. I wonder why.
I got held back. I wasn't sure you'd come after my behavior the other day. Forget it. I'm used to less than cordial greetings. Hi, Eric. Five minutes! I'll do it for the money. How many of these commercials have you made? Oh, five, six, something like that. Before we get into the in-depth stuff, I was wondering about you and Mike McKay. I take it you two don't like each other very much. McKay is a little boy. He plays little boy games. Not liking each other very much may have been putting it mildly. McKay is breaking the law. The reason he becomes important is people like you write about him. It's how I make my living. If I think I can sell a story, Eric, I'm gonna write it. How much of a living can you make? It's not how much you make, it's how you make it. Impressive, huh? You believe it? Yeah. I may not be at the top of the heap as far as writers go, but I am one of the heap. If you're not busy later on, uh, my partner, William Devine, is having a cocktail party. I'd like you to be my guest. Oh? We'll give us some more time to talk. You think so? I think so. Eric, we're ready for you. Excuse me. What time? Six o'clock. The Divine Ranch. doing your story remember this is the at-home segment oh great well look I was just about to sit down to eat really you haven't eaten have you so divine went to court about a year ago right mm -hmm. and he said the river had to be limited to the number of people it could handle ecologically yeah yeah Hey. Oh, halves. Halves? Half of mine and all of yours? <laughs> this really is good. You ought to think about opening up a restaurant. I was beginning to think I had. Pass a chili, please. How, 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 how can you eat like this and not gain weight? I only eat when I'm with you. Well, it's just plain unfair for me to be this lucky. Mike, hmm? Harry told me that your dad was killed on the river. And what else has old Black Hoof been filling you in on? Black Hoof? Actually, if you want to get technical, it, it's uh, Kute Wikisa. I think I'll stick to Harry. Mm -hmm. Why do you run the river if it killed your father? My life didn't end because his did. My pop, he flipped under a fallen tree near the Indian site. And I stopped by there every time I go down the river. I can see by telling you this, I'm assuring my niche in the nut section here, crazy magazine. No, you just might be too sane for it. Hm. Why do you run the river? This is one place you can get away from all the bull. At least it used to be before Divine claimed it. He dammed up the river, now he controls it. And he naturally thinks he can control everybody and everything on it. I'm just trying to let him know that life ain't that easy. Oh, this is beautiful. It really is. Answers your question, doesn't it? 
Well, it's got to be more than just the beauty that attracts you. I mean, somewhere deep down inside of you, Mike, we are dealing with the call of the wild here. Hmm. How many times in your life does the adrenaline really flow? dinner tonight. What? Dinner, you, you and me, t tonight. You know, I hate to say this, but I've got to go. Oh. Okay. I would. No, it's OK. I've been invited to a party tonight to meet Mr. Devine, and I don't think I should pass. Uh-huh. Business, no. you know? Sure. I'd bring you along, but I don't think it'd go over real big. Probably not. So how about tomorrow? Breakfast? Your choice. My treat. <gasps> oh! Are you prepared for this campaign? You know, Bill Wilson's gonna give you a run with money. <laughs> with your track record, there'll be no contest. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Bill. I'd like you to meet Trisha Parker. I'm Miss Parker. I'm glad you came. Well, I'm going to introduce you to Gerald Swan and Richard Phelps. Congressman Phelps. Does it show? Hi. Hi. Why don't you gentlemen talk among yourself while I try and sweep this beautiful woman off her feet? That's the girl on the phone. Harry. What? Those fines are getting too high. I can't afford it anymore. Fines are not what I was worried about. The next time, if there is one, you're gonna start getting time. Divine has the ability to apply a lot of pressure. So what do I do? Uh, I wish I had an answer for you, Mike. Sometimes it gets to the point where I want to throw away the law books and dust off the old bow and arrow. Hey. To tradition. And you're a very smart young woman, aren't you? Although appearances can be deceptive. Believe me, I know from first-hand experience. Look, Miss Parker, what I'm getting at is I have a rather substantial interest in the local scene, and I need someone like, like yourself to bolster and promote our image. Are you offering me a job? Yes, I am. Mr. Devine, I already have a job. You're a writer. So write. I mean, after all, you came up here to do a story on Eric. I'd just like to expand your capacity and focus on the corporate world. I don't know what to say. I'm also aware that you're going to do a story on Mike McKay. You obviously know our feelings for one another. If you weren't here, he'd settle down, making it easy on everyone. If he doesn't, he's going to be in a very unenviable position. You just might be contributing to his dilemma. Look, the bottom line is this, Miss Parker. I'm going to be spending a lot of money. Now, it can either be paid to you or to the attorney that's going to prosecute McKay. Here's $5,000. Let's just say that it's an advance. If you decide to accept my offer, take a few minutes to think it over.
I don't mean to rush you, but... Uh, That's all right. I've decided to take the job. It's a very wise decision. Shall we go back to the farm? I think so. They were here at the park. You excuse me, Miss Parker. You enjoy yourself. Thank you. Johnson. Did uh, everything work out satisfactorily? Let's just say it was beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> Do you want to continue the interview now? Um, where's the ladies' room, Eric? Ah, it's in the hall. I'll show it to you. Thank you, Eric. Parker? Miss Parker? Open it. Nobody there. And why is the water running?
Hey, Pablo. Hi. How's my boy? Nothing sacred. Give me that bell on the door. Divine, the river, the dead guy, Clemper, and Swan are all tied up in this thing together. Mike, Kastner died while he was doing something on that dam. When no one was looking, I sneaked into Divine's office and took a look at the diagrams. All to do with Chalupa Canyon Dam. Something about the structure. Don't ask me what it means now. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. All I know is that Kastner is dead, and one of the men he worked with, Gerald Swan, said he talked to him five days after he died. Now, tell me that isn't weird. That isn't weird. Oh, come on. Then Gerald Swan shows up at Divine's party. Now, tell me I've got writer's imagination. Good morning, Harry. What's that got to do with me? I don't know. All I know is that Divine foams at the mouth every time your name is mentioned. I think it has something to do with the permits. I think you're reaching. Oh, you think I'm reaching, huh? Well, why did Divine offer me a job and a $5,000 advance? Divine gave you this? It's not my spare change. Why'd you take it? Yeah, why'd you take it? I was afraid not to. Anyway, I think Divine thought that by my publicizing you, it would make things worse on him. Make what worse? All right, wise guys. If I knew that, I wouldn't be sitting here talking with you. I would be writing my story. Now, Divine's acting like somebody who's got something to hide in. I'm going to find out what it is. I'm going to the dam. Well, I hope I didn't make a mistake last night. I'm not so sure I can trust how Miss Parker. Maybe Lilian should still keep an eye on her, just in case. That's a good idea. I hope they can get it under control. <sighs> Between McKay, our Miss Parker, and this dam, it's getting harder and harder to get a good night's sleep. She actually saw some of the dead guy's papers in Divine's office. And he offered her 5000 not to write the story. Divine is beginning to appear downright unwholesome. And now this. When the river's up, no permits are issued. When the river's down, permits go out. I'm not saying she's right about everything. But her average is looking pretty damn good. think you're doing? Oh, hi. I'm trying to find someone to give me a tour of this place. We don't give tours. Isn't there someone I can talk to? You're talking to him. Well, good. Come on, just a quick look. I came all the way from Arizona. Sorry. Isn't there anything I can do to change your mind? Beat it. What? I said beat it. Boy, oh boy, what kind of way is that to talk to somebody? Give somebody a badge and look at, acts like they're king of the mountain. Shame on.
My, my. Look what we have here. It's Mr. Devine himself. What do you suppose they're looking for? I don't know. You know, when we last talked, I must admit, I was still a bit skeptical. But not anymore. You're very good. I try. You know... We have a lot of land developers up here. And most of them are very respectable. But the first time I met Mr. Devine, I could have sworn the hair stood up on the back of my neck. And now I know they did because they're standing up again. The hearing convenes in a couple of days. If any word of this gets out, there'll be an investigation. Of me, of you, of everybody involved all the way down the line. And if they start digging, they'll find out about the construction and uh, who's responsible. I can't afford another delay. I've got three million tied up in those other dams. Quit worrying about the other dams. This is the one that matters. If only Kastner hadn't have died. If only doesn't get it done. Now, Kastner went down there alone. It's his own damn fault. Now, how long do I have to wait for a decision? It's hard to say. Well, I need an answer. At the soonest... Two weeks, if the plastic works. But we're playing with fire. The pressure's very bad right now. Look, I'm doing my best. I uh, can't help anymore with the hearing. I'm afraid I have to back off. I hate to tell you this, Bill, but you're on your own for the duration. Yeah. What, Morgan? When? Or how long ago? No, 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 that's all right, fine, yeah. Yeah, all right. Miss Park is staying at the River Pine Motel. You go find out what kind of a camera she's using, all right? Look, Richard, if the heat comes down on me, 
it's gonna come down on all of us. Sooner or later, you're gonna believe me. Hey, that's why we're here. Anyone see you take these? You saw me. You chased me. They chased you? Yeah. Come on, get your things. Why? Let's get out of here. And the faster, the better. Why? Why? Because we've been putting two and two together, and we think you're right. Well, it's about time. Maybe we should have gone to the police, Mike. Police are only good once the fireworks have started. We haven't even lit the fuse yet. Mike? Yeah? Do you come here often? Yeah. Along? Yeah. I've never met anybody like you. Yeah? No? This is where your dad died, isn't it? Yeah. I think I know what that means to you, Mike. Bringing me here makes me feel very special. Tell Mr. Devine why her motel room is empty. And this is what we want. because I don't understand it myself. I think we should just keep going down till we find out what it is we're looking for. Okay. We're gonna need a lot more bracing. It's the only way we're ever gonna be able to... How's it coming? I'll tell you after the first big rain. That bad? But if Divine had built it with the right materials in the first place, we wouldn't be where we are now. This 
must be it. Yeah. There's another level. Right behind you. Okay. What's that? What's what? That down there. There's somebody in the dam. I don't know. Well, he's on his way down right now. Look, this is out of my league. I'm an engineer. I'm not a thug. I'm aware of that, Gerald. I'm not asking you to beat anyone up. Now, you just stay put till I get there, all right? Get the car. There's a whole town downstream that should be in on that question. Where are they? Inside. Oh, where inside? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Yeah. All right, now listen, Swan. Let's not lose our heads. Now, what's the situation down there? It's no good. The crack keeps getting larger and larger every day.
for it. Go for what? There's gotta be another way. We're on Divine's property. This is the only way out. They must have left the helmets up at the lodge. Can't we steal a car or something? We gotta get going. It's not gonna take them long to figure out what's happened. Let's go. You're sure this is the only way? There they are. Get Mr. Divine on the phone. center of the boat. You never lean into the current. It'll flip us. Oh, really? What else? Let me know if we're going to hit anything. Like rocks. Okay, yeah, rocks. Four boats on the river now. McKay's got at least a half an hour's jump on us. Now look, Eric, you're the world's champ, so he's in your arena. You damn well better find a way to stop him before he hits the end of this river. Do you understand? I'll stop him. Now hear me well. I'll be waiting at the end of this run. Your boat better be the first I see or else it's over. Do you understand? I understand. It's been real quiet up here. I haven't seen anybody. I'm telling you, I brought Mike McKay and Trisha Parker up here early this morning. If they were up here, I didn't see them. I'm going in. Sorry, sir. Cutter, come on, come on. Are you, aren't you going to go in? I did what you wanted. I came up here. They're not here. What more can I do? No! 
now. Stretch. Let go of the rock. Oh, oh my.
go back up. Lila must have found him. Take us two days to walk out of here. Assuming we could climb up those cliffs, get around the rattlesnakes, we got a couple of rapids left. Are they big rapids? Let's go. Just give it all you got. Let's go. Come on.
How you doing? I'm all right. How about you? OK. Hey, you did fine. I mean, really fine. Never again. What's the problem, Frank? No problem, Mr. Devine. I just got a couple of questions I'd love to run past you. Sam? Before you start arresting anybody, Sheriff. Not this time, Mike. A guy named Swan's been telling us a very interesting story. We saw the dam. The Corps of Engineers is already up there. This money belongs to Mr. Devine. I think he'll be needing it for a lawyer. We got four guys stranded up river, Sheriff. One of them is your deputy, Leland. Yeah, I figured. Georgia. <laughs> cold in here? Or is it just me? In August, action comes out of the gate full speed with Wesley Snipes. Ooh, that's exciting. An action hero for the 21st century. You obviously 